on me. That actually, well, <laughs> uh, did you say it wasn't on you? No. Did you see the way you just dropped down like a fucking atom bomb on that thing? <laughs> I've never heard that chair make that noise. This seems like you're... I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with I you. I feel like this is the beginning of every episode of this podcast. No. <laughs> I've had... L- listen, I've had multiple people on this podcast, that of which have been, I'm going to say, larger dudes. Yeah. I've never heard that chair cry out like a fucking <laughs> wounded animal. Because they don't got that dumb truck on them. <laughs> sat down on that thing. <laughs> and that goddamn... <laughs> Oh! It was actually wrong. <laughs> I, actually, I thought the chair was going to trail off, too. I thought it was going to be like, oh! oh, oh. God, oh my God. <laughs> If the chair, dude, you should rig up the chairs to be like, oh my God! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh yeah! God! <laughs> right at the end! Oh yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's like a very disturbed version of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Cherry getting off when you sit on Cherry, like sit on me again! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! God. Don't sit on Jerry. She's constantly got a wet spot. <laughs> She's Don't. constantly just coming. What is wrong with your chair? Oh, uh, it comes. <laughs> it's uh, it's weird. See, that's what I would do uh, when people talk about because I often asked people like what they would want if they could have like a superpower, <laughs> and like everyone says, like I think it was <laughs> Felicia Gillespie was on the show and she said invisibility, which is creepy as shit. Yeah, that's, that's weird. creep. Yeah, that's but I, weird. Uh, what I find out when I talk about superpowers, it just seems like I just want to be able to gypsy curse things. Oh, fun! So like when I want a superpower, <laughs> I would be like, "Yo, I want to make all your furniture come when you sit on it." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I would want. After just a so, long like, day, you at have work. to keep going to Raymore and Flanagan <laughs> every time. She's like, I can't have these fucking couches, man. And they're like, why? He's like, every time I sit on it, it's like, oh, oh, oh. It'd be oh. fun. It'd, so do they still come after you return yeah, them? Yeah. No, no, no. As soon as they're, only you. everyone thinks you're crazy. <laughs> That's the best part about a gypsy curse. Because like in yeah. the movie Thinner, when she's like, Thinner, and he yeah. keeps losing weight, everyone, one thinks he has cancer. Yeah. And then he's like, no, I'm telling you, it was this woman who did it. Like, no, you're just sick. You're just <laughs> sick. But if you were like, I'm telling you, when I sit down in the recliner, it comes. They're like, you are just, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> if you sat down, could you imagine fucking with the thing? Be like, with this, oh. <laughs> or like you pull it, it's like slower. It's like again. Or you have to spit on your hand before you do it. <laughs> you go to other people's places and you're used to that. Yeah, you're, so like, you're sorry. Just like, eh. <laughs> sorry. Oh wait. No. No. Oh, sorry. You try harder to me. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> you're like, wait, this is your dude. No, it usually works. I swear to God. Your fucking recliners. What did he masturbate before this? Yeah. What's wrong with you? You ever think about you know? You ever think about giving your recliner pills? I'm just saying. Yeah, that recliner's it, got low T. It's a thing. To, it's a thing. How old's your recliner? Uh, it happens as they get older. As they get blue chew. If, if, it was recl- <laughs> if it was just down, it was like curved over. It's like, yo, your recliner's fucking handle oh is fucking God. limp. It's like one of the fucking dolphins, like the the whale fins. <laughs> it's just fucking God, over. Like, oh my God. Big miss on Rob for not getting that recorded. No, it's been recording the whole time. Oh, you're talking about the fucking yeah. sound. <laughs> Big miss on yeah. your part. Well, first off, no <laughs> one thought that was going to happen. I'll put it in post. Yeah, can you please just add it in? <laughs> yeah, can like you do, 40 minutes in. No, just, can you do, can we take time and do like an artist like sketch, like rendering of like what had happened? Yeah. Like, you know, like in courtrooms, it's like, and then she sat down on the chair. It was, <laughs> it, it was literally a mix between a dog bark it, and coming. It, it was, was crazy. pretty fucking nuts. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, this is the end podcast with Ryan Shanner. I am joined with the one and only Gina Hyena. Thank you for being on the show. Is there anywhere anybody can catch you sitting on chairs and making them? <laughs> you uh, can reach catch me in sexual... Raymore and Flanagan and Bob's Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> catch me at Bob's. Um, I'm going to be in Austin, Texas this week. So I'll be right. all over the place. I'll be at Sunset. I'll be at Roscoe's. I'll be at East Austin Comedy Club. I'll be around. Fantastic. Yeah. Now you were talking about how you tried to give your dog medicine. And it fell off a couch, and it hit its head on the floor, and then barked at you because you're dumb. (laughs) Yeah, she shamed me. She was mad at me. It's so fucked up. Honestly, I also like feel like I'm like, is she gonna hear this? I'm so sorry. (laughs) Like I feel like I'm embarrassed. You know what? (laughs) Sorry. That is the epitome of a dog owner. (laughs) I'm like, sorry. They think that their dogs under. Look, I gotta be honest with you. I understand people love their animals. People love their cats and their dogs. And I don't know if you guys understand this. They can't understand what you're saying. They know tone. Mm -hmm. They, I'm pretty sure dogs understand repetition. And they understand, like, you know, snacks and rewards and shit like that. That's how you train them. Yeah. But I don't think if you were to tell your dog anything, that it would be like, you bitch. I will say, I used to have a dog that would get embarrassed when she farted. I think all dogs get embarrassed. Oh, wait, embarrassed or scared? Embarrassed. So my dog like, now will just straight up beef yeah, in the living room and she doesn't dog. care. Yeah. I used to have a dog named Biscuit, which is just classic kid yeah, dog name. Great, great name for a dog pitching biscuits. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. But she'd be in the living room and then if she farted, we'd all, all be like, oh, Biscuit. And she would like leave with her tail between her legs. Well, that's because you were shaming her. <laughs> but then. And you're like, ew! <laughs> you're dis- You disgusting <laughs> four legged animal. <laughs> Put on some clothes. Yeah, what the f- get a job, <laughs> biscuit. What are you gonna do? Jar those farts? Sell them on OnlyFans? You gross animal! Get out of here. So what she used to do after that was there is a bay window, and, it's and she like, would sulk and look out the bay window. <laughs> she like would, an old timey <laughs> sailor, just like I can't believe I did it again. <laughs> she would pretend to look out the window. She'd come in the room, put wow. her paws up fart and then leave so she'd like oh. have like like she's like i was totally in here to do something <laughs> and like leave. <laughs> oh. 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 sorry all right on my way <laughs> sorry i'm just passing through <laughs> sorry man yeah, i guess we were shaming her yeah you guess <laughs> you now were, what i'm thinking you about were it yelling at a dog you're like my dog was so embarrassed no the dog felt bad because you were like bad dog Bad dog, how dare you dogs do that thing know, that animals look, do? Dogs know when you're mad at them. Yeah, it's hot in here. You know why you're hot? Because that chair is turned the fuck it's, on. It's all the shame that and I'm now feeling of shaming heat. my dog. That's what you get. Yeah. That's what you get. So the dog <laughs> fell off the couch, yeah. hit its head on the floor. God, I felt like I literally... And this is what made me, I felt like such a Jersey fucking character that would be in like a Mark Wahlberg movie because I was on the way to the tanning salon when I was trying to give my baby her pills <laughs> and she rolled off the couch and it hit, she, she hit her head and she barked as she hit her head. Then I was like, I could, all I pictured was like a baby rolling off the couch and yeah. I was like, I would be horrible. At I this. did. I did that. My niece. You did a rolly baby? Yeah. <laughs> You did the old. <laughs> so my sister, my niece was like a month old mm-hmm. or a little bit more. And my sister entrusted me to watch her while her and her baby daddy went out to do shit. Oh no! And I remember I was like, I think I was, try- I can't remember what I was trying to do, mm-hmm. but I thought, cause like I had her on the couch and I pushed her, like almost sandwiched her in between cushions, like the back cushions. Like, this will keep her. And then I also <laughs> stacked pillows around her. Like it's a wall. <laughs> I was like, this baby's not going anywhere. Nothing could move these. And then I went into the kitchen and then I let the dog in that we were like, you know, we had. And then as I was opening the door, I heard like, and then I went in the living room and my niece was laying face down on the floor, motionless and silent. And the first. So where'd you get the replacement one? First thing, you know, what? (laughs) (laughs) babies are us. They actually have have, have more babies there. (laughs) It's not just, you to think. It's not just, it's not, you know, people just don't want children. <laughs> you can discard kids anywhere. Do you know how many orphans there are in this world? So many. So many? So fucking, are you kidding me? There are so many. We have so many babies that there was a lady in England who got charged with murder of seven babies. Did you hear about that? No. There was a lady. Where do you get this news from Scary Chair fucking weekly? Where no? do you get this fucking 
<laughs> my phone just my phone sends me the actually you know what's weird it's like all news has not been good it's a hashtag it's, you're following it's been bad <laughs> but this uh i got a, a news article about a woman in england who was uh Yes, she was a nurse who who got charged with killing seven children, seven Oof. infants, by like. Was it like the moms being like, "Hey"? Oh, I mean, that would be, dude. Could you imagine if you were a baby hitman? Yeah, crazy. Just, just killing babies for money. Crazy. That's got to be a lot. That's got to be a. That's got to. You have to charge a lot for that. Yeah. Because that's like a whole level of like moral fiber yeah. that you gotta like Because at least when it's like you're a hitman hitman, you're like, that person did something shitty at one point in their life. That I can Maybe. be like, this person was a fucking dick bag. Sure. So I can like do that in my head. But baby baby did nothing. You don't know that. Who's you don't, a bad baby? You did bad babies. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard the song Bad of the Bone? <laughs> he was born bad. <laughs> the nurses were told to leave like him alone. <laughs> And there should have been one nurse with a pillow, just like, <laughs> put him in a Diagnosed casket. Diagnosed with sorry. bad. I'm sorry. I prescribed you baby casket. <laughs> so horrible. Why is that? It's not that bad. But also, <laughs> girls go fucking nutty, because all my friends have fucking kids. Girls go fucking they nuts. They go wild. And <laughs> just cue the kettle drums as soon as they push that yeah. thing out. They go wild. <laughs> It's like you just had a baby girl. <laughs> Put him away. Sorry, She's like, mom. <laughs> She's like, I'm breastfeeding. I'm like, ew, stop being a whore. Oh man, that would have been great. And girls going wild. There was just like a bunch of chicks showing their tits and one breastfeeding. Like, what are you? T- <laughs> stop. Just or put just the camera away. <laughs> spraying milk everywhere would have been. <laughs> Joe Francis would have changed the game. <laughs> so crazy. Would have loved it. Girls going wild and one actually being a responsible mother. Spring breast milk. <laughs> That's getting somebody Dude, rock hard. First off, breast milk is not terrible. I think it depends on the lady. Wow, that's very... What, what if the lady's vaping? Then it's got to taste like shit. I don't think that's how vape works. Vapor breast milk? I don't think that's how it works. What do you mean? It's got to be in your bloodstream at some point. I mean, I'm sure it is, but I'm pretty sure if you're... so. And you're having grape crush fucking Look, breast milk? I'm not saying what I do know is like liquids affect your breast milk. Like if you're drinking a lot, you can give your it's called yeah. whiskey tits. Yeah, you can it goes through your bloodstream. Yes, but I don't think if you're smoking banana tropical berry shit. Where do you think all the chemicals go? I don't you know what? That's a great question. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just I just don't want to see a baby <laughs> hit a tit and then be like <gasps> Yeah, it's crazy. That's, that's the last thing I want to see. What's up? Yeah, dude, vape tits. <laughs> now, that's the only time I would vape. Yeah. I would be a serial vapist if it, it came, really like, is a pacifier. Fucking, for if people. it was a huge tit, <laughs> just, I don't know why that doesn't happen more. Why are they doing that? You know, you're like, I'm so much cooler than Joe Camel right now. It would be sick. <laughs> if they had, it, you know what? That's marketing that I don't understand. It's just, do that. <laughs> You walk into a boardroom just a with just huge, a chart of a like, thing going look, up and be like, "Sales are up. <laughs> Vape tits are where it's at." They're like, "Sir, we've asked you to leave three times." I know. <laughs> I don't even work here, but I'm trying to tell you guys a thing or two about a thing or two. And I will hit if I had a vape that was just a big <laughs> ball with a nipple on it. So stupid. You could definitely make it. There's definitely like three things I think you can buy from it. Alibaba. Or some I'm gonna shit. get a vape, and then I'm gonna craft the little. Lip, which I guess is essentially a. All right, I want a percentage on this. I think it's this essentially, is now essentially a nipple. <laughs> yeah, just you make it a big squeezy. You go in front of Mark Cuban. Yeah. You're like, now listen. Sharks. <laughs> Who here vapes? Everybody. Who here loves tits? And if you say everybody, you're wrong. Not a lot of people do, but I'm pandering to a few people. <laughs> We're going to have big saggy tits? Yeah. Oh, my God. They're like, how much did it cost you to invest? You're like, $32. I invested (laughs) my entire life savings into vape tits. Oh, it'd be fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I think you could get a lot. I mean, I've also thought of, like, other things. Like, I've thought about what... I've also thought of other things. No, I thought about, like, (laughs) going on Shark Tank and just seeing how far I could get with a ridiculous invention Mm -hmm. to see how long they would even stomach it. Yeah. And one thing (laughs) I thought about was called Rhea Writers. 
Okay. So basically, it's an apparatus you put on like a diaper, and there's a suction thing that goes up your butt. And it's all about, like, you know, have you ever been writing with a pen and it runs out of ink? Real annoying, right? <laughs> Real big bummer. <laughs> what but a great bitch this is it's, already. It's, huge, I'm like... it's a huge inconvenience. <laughs> But Rhea writers, okay. you put this thing on, and Oof. it fits snugly over your bits and pieces, and there's a suction valve that goes up your butthole, and then you take this type of laxative that makes your poop super liquid, and then there's a hose that connects to the back of it, and then you have a pen with never-ending ink that is poop. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. You're writing love letters? Yeah. <laughs> You're writing to your parents? Just stinky Dear hearts? Dear mother. <laughs> <laughs> stinky hearts on the wall? <laughs> And the whole thing is, with Rhea Rider, you can upgrade to Rhea Rider Pro, which has an advanced fan, and you can, like, airbrush with it, like, paint kids' faces at the make beach. Make tall tea. Yeah. <laughs> like, you make a, a memory of somebody who died. It's fucking sick. I don't understand why that wouldn't be a thing. But diarrhea pens, that would be, like, there's got to be... Someone needs one. I don't know who I don't it know is, if but I, no. somebody needs if one. If I pitched Rhea writers to a lady or dude who is in a very niche, you know, sexual market, I'm pretty sure. Like, you know, somebody if, in prisons. Uh, love I think that's the last place you want. Really? Because it wouldn't just be poop. There'd be some yeah. blood in that poop. Yeah. Nobody wants poopy blood. You get real Darren Aronofsky with Nobody it. Nobody wants that. <laughs> I don't want that. The sharks would kick me off immediately. <laughs> You're like, now that's disgusting. No, do we blood in blood the blood in the stool? <laughs> Gross. Look, we're drawing the line right here. <laughs> but I just wonder how long they would even entertain. Like, if I had, because I thought about making it, like just making a that's mock-up so thing. So funny. And then just like being like, I wonder. You have like a, a letter. You're writing. You're just writing help. Yeah. Really it's like, it's like, check it out. <laughs> I never run out of ink. <laughs> I would just sign a check with my diarrhea. That's what I was saying. That's, Signing checks would be great. That would be fucking great. Because in it, like also, I thought up like a commercial for it, like Fun. a lady like taking a guy's hand and trying to write her number on it. She's out of ink, <laughs> oh. and then she gets. Her, <laughs> Has this ever happened? And then yeah. writes it. It's like <laughs> they break, they <laughs> malfunction. They're ruining your life. <laughs> Pens. Who it's needs black them? and white. Yeah. they're just like, yeah, they're like ah, fumbling. <laughs> And then there's like a guy like at a like a whiteboard with a marker that's like out. He's like, God damn it! He's teaching a classroom. Yeah, can't even get his point across. <laughs> oh, there's a lady trying to sign a will, and she's got nothing. She's like, God damn it! But then enter a writer, and you can write with your diarrhea. Mm. I don't understand why that's not a thing. We're living in the future. We got self-driving cars. Where were you when you came up with that idea? Where was I? I was at work. <laughs> That's how that's how much I hate my job. I think of <laughs> products that use diarrhea as as ink that could that's possibly so make me funny. any money. There's like a bunch of people waiting for you to help yep. them and you're just like I'm sorry, huh. I'm working on diarrhea <laughs> pens. Now look, hey, okay, here's your table. Uh server will be right with you. Also, in that pen's shitty. That sucks, right? <laughs> what if you had like a thing up your butt? You start bringing them to work? Yeah. To sign Guys, the bill try these out. Yo, let me know I, what you think about that. Let me, <laughs> dude, think about it. Like, like it's, oh, it, it's just a little this? guy. <laughs> it just goes up your butt. It's oh like a suppository. God. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> just a little <laughs> guy. Which is <laughs> guy what you never want to hear about anything going in your butt. <laughs> no, just, hey, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. God. If a doctor was like, Mr. Shannon, we're going to have to prescribe you suppositories, they'd be like, oh no. It's like, that's just a little guy. <laughs> just a little like, buddy. It's a little. I don't want anything up my butt. <laughs> Especially not a little guy. No, I don't want a little guy, but I also don't want a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd You're like, I just need an average guy. Yeah, can I just have, you know, standard? <laughs> yeah, can I just have just, your average you know? finance? No, we only have guy? BBC <laughs> pills for you. <laughs> You're going to have to take this whole thing. Oh, my God. I want to stop sweating. Imagine I'm like getting hot thinking about diarrhea. Yeah, pens. that's <laughs> what I'm. Uh, that's what I hope everyone watching is like, dude, she was so turned on about poop talk. <laughs> <laughs> you really put her in her place. Yo, what's crazy is <laughs> like, like, I, I didn't know what was think. going on. Then Shannon started talking about diarrhea and the water works for all this lady. <laughs> I don't think I've ever Slipping been. out the chair She was right like now. fucking falling, dude. <laughs> it was like fucking <laughs> Niagara Falls from that fall. It was awesome. There's a snail trail out oh, this Oh, man, she was so goopy. <laughs> <laughs> she was gooping dude, it up, she had dude. a splash gash. It was fucking hot, dude. He was talking about poop. Oh, you never gross. would have thought, yeah. You know what? It's like I'm 
And that's how good with women I am. <laughs> you know, and that's how know. good I am. So Dude, funny. and it sucks because I, I would, it's funny because Danny's not here because Danny would cooperate on the story. But I headbutted the manager of Helium last night and I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> accidental headbutt. It was an accidental <laughs> headbutt. <laughs> how? I, well, she came out. She's very and good. There was a lady? Yeah, look, look, I'm not in. I don't usually headbutt women. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not in the business of headbutting women. Not usually doing it. Usually. Usually. I would say I never headbutt women. That's a lie. I've headbutted a few. <laughs> I dabble. But. <laughs> some of you asking for it. No, that's not. Well, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. one. Yeah. But she came out and she like pushed me very jokingly. And then we were like roughhousing for a second. And then I put my head down to like pretend to show. I was like, I'd headbutt you if I, if, yeah, I'll headbutt if you. you liked it. And then she <laughs> ran into it. Like she like lunged forward. And it was just like perfect timing that was bad timing. And I headbutted her right in the ribs. And in the, that's not a headbutt. Oh, you were the headbutter. Into you, you my butted head the slammed into her. I thought ribs. you hit her head. No. I was like, that's, that's see, great. Well, you're going to What do you call that? What, just headbutting somebody's wrist? It's still a headbutt. No, headbutting your head. It's a headbutt. Double headbutt? No, it's just a headbutt. <laughs> oh. If they're trying to headbutt you, then maybe it's a double headbutt, yeah. which I've done. I immediately just picture that dinosaur that looks like he's bald on yeah, the, the top. Yeah, the little guy. That guy. The little guy. He's yeah, the one you put up your ass. See, now, why doesn't that happen? Make suppositories that look like your favorite dinosaurs. <laughs> Like you know what would also be great? Water on, yeah, make it shrinky dinks. <laughs> if you put the fucking sponge things in that. Now, if I was a doctor, Fun. I would be so my medical. I'd be so stripped of my license because I would <laughs> just for so. fun. I'd be like, and here's the other one, and it's like they pull it out and it's a big trash. They horse, get an X-ray and they're like, why is there? A Excuse fucking... me, you have a sponge in your butthole <laughs> shaped like a velociraptor. God. What is that? I'm like, I don't know. Sorry, I mixed up your pills. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm always playing with them back. Damn here. it. <laughs> I was having a good time in the waiting room. <laughs> Fuck. God. Fuck. Okay, so you headbutted a lady. Yeah, I headbutted a lady, and I feel bad about it. And I did message her. I'm like, I'm really sorry. Hey, that was just like. <laughs> what a fun message. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, I'm real it's sorry. Messages I you never you. think you have to send to people. Like, yo, I'm really sorry I headbutted you. That'd be a great message to write in shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a handwritten hey, letter sorry. in my dump. <laughs> Hey, first off, just want to let you know, FYI, this letter stinks, <laughs> but it's done with love. It's from the heart feeling, and my butt. Feeling uh, really ashamed about what I did. Not the writing yeah. of the shit, but, but the, the head, head butt. butt. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad about that. Yeah. I've had to, that was an apology text. Well, why was she roughhousing? I haven't oh, roughhoused she was just, in she a was just, lot. That's a lie. I roughhoused yeah, what, like last week. Yeah. I was going to say, be rough I don't roughhouse. Maybe I did, though. <laughs> I might have roughhoused yeah, last what, week. Now, what's your, what's your go-to roughhouse move? Oh, I like when are people you, are ticklish. Oh, so you just, good. you just Yeah, I get them good. And then <laughs> I got way too into it for a second. Yeah, you get carried away. <laughs> I got, I get really excited about a good grabbing in the middle. A and good then, grabbing in the middle. I got to get a good grabbing. And then, uh, because... I mean, I lived in Austin for a bit, so I took a jujitsu class or two. Wow. Brag. <laughs> I know, pretty cool stuff. Yo, pretty neat. Pretty sick stuff. Austin um, jujitsu. But I've also just come to learn to love that I'm a little meatball of a lady, because that's just my genes. So now I just kind of work with that. So if we're roughhousing, I'm going to get on top of you. Okay. And you're not going to be able to move. Man, it sounds like so many dudes weight. are like, what? <laughs> Oh man! Oh no! I'm so ticklish. Look what happened when you were. I'm so ticklish. <laughs> Please don't. You know what's no. crazy? Like when you tickle me, I may get an erection, but it's like it's it's like a natural thing. It's like why well, I couldn't hang out with my pup up. Like he would tickle me every now and again. I get hard. I don't and even think about throw that. Throw my body weight on top of him. Like, okay. Ha. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Now you can't move. Now you can't move. And you're getting grabbed. And you're getting. <laughs> the more you explain this jujitsu. <laughs> It's I got like, kicked out of jujitsu. Yeah, I was gonna say you, this sounds like rape. <laughs> hey, it's like you know, you just pin them down. They can't move. <laughs> then you tickle them. I get on top of them. I make sure I straddle them, and they can't move. And then I just fucking put my fingers on work in their ribs. God. I thought I had like real traveling auntie energy, and it just turns out I have creepy uncle. Yeah, energy. you sure do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Uncle Gina. <laughs> oh, you ticklish? Oh, you ticklish? Come here. Let me get you. I'll get you. So you think you can get away from me? Here's my. God, here's, I am sweating so much. Yeah, I know. Much. You know what I got her? The I'm diarrhea. The talking about tickling people while straddling them. You're out of control. Everything. Sorry. I brought nothing. Yeah, I didn't no, bring you brought anything. everything. I brought you brought everything, everything and nothing. You didn't bring yourself a little cooling fan. You should. I know. I should have brought that. You brought a sweatshirt. I brought a like sweatshirt. A fucking a, maniac. Oof, bad. Why oof. did you do that? Because I thought maybe it's nice and cool. No, nope, it's a hot box in here. <laughs> no, it stanks in here. Now sometimes. I know how people feel when I tickle them. Yeah, <laughs> feel oppressed. You know what? It's karma. <laughs> this is what you get, it's lady. It's karma. This is what it's like when you tickle somebody. You're getting straddled and tickled by heat. God Uncle damn. Heat's here. God damn it. So did you ever watch Wishbone? <laughs> yeah, what's the story, girl? First off, bars. Yeah. What like what a great <laughs> What an amazing theme song. <laughs> so good. So when I was in not to railroad your conversation. No, your I just question. wanted to see where that went. So, uh, yeah, I did watch. Toshed a little wishbone out you there. Did. I want to see what I got back. Let's break it, girl. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. When I was in elementary school, wishbone was blowing up. Yeah. And wishbone came to my elementary school. Shut. I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> but when wishbone came. Wishbone came to the school, and I remember a buddy of mine, Jeff, was like, "That's not the real Wishbone." Stop. He was like, "That's not really Wishbone." And I was what like, a "But jerk I also, off. but again, I wasn't like no shit because we treated Wishbone because there was an episode of Wishbone. If you go deep, yeah, which one? There was an episode of Wishbone, which I I can't remember which story they were going over, but there was like a vignette in the middle of the show mm -hmm. where Wishbone or whoever was doing the voice of Wishbone, the voice actor, was explaining how Wishbone the show is actually produced. Oh, it yeah. It was like a, like, hey, behind the scenes type of thing. Yeah, remember and they cut the thing in half to make his hat? Yeah. They had to do all, <laughs> like, they had to do everything. I remember how they dog. made his costume, so I'm like, I know what exactly it's you're wild, <laughs> but they also explained there were five Wishbones. That's there good. were five wishbones. Like Olsen there twins. was a stunt wishbone. There was a wishbone that could like run real fast. Like it was wild that he's like, I have several different bones. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's like <laughs> stunt wishbone is yeah. just smoking a cigarette. Stunt wishbone's like mad, Mike. He's got a scar on his face. He's got 36 puppies. He's like, you don't understand what it's like being wishbone. <laughs> you know how many wishbones I've broken to do this role? You fucking piece of shit. Dude, that's... That wishbone is just, like, the wrestler. Yeah, he's very <laughs> fucked up. Mickey Rourke. He's very angry. Slicing deli meat now. But, yeah, there was also, like, a dancing wishbone. Yeah. Like, they had a wishbone that could, like... What a turd. It was wild. But when wishbone came to our school, we were trying to figure out which... Ooh, which, which like... wishbone it was. And it ended up just being uh, Jack Russell Terrier. It was just, like, it wasn't even... What he a was just mean there. trick to and play like, wishbone, on the kids. This wishbone had no calm. At all. It, it was, was like, just a Jack Russell. It was Russell. just a Jack Russell Terry. <laughs> it wasn't a They're trained like, this will calm dog. these kids down. They just brought in, they, they were talking about them. like the like, you know, reading and all this stuff. It was during a scholastic book fair. Ooh. And they brought Wishbone and everyone was like, Oh my god, the dog's gonna be there. This dog was just like, Oh shit. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> like was just excitable. Philly? And it was like, what? Was it in Philly? No, this is well outside of Philadelphia. Yeah. This is in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Mm. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Not to brag, but we had a Jack Russell Terrier. Come we had a famous <laughs> dog come to, come to town. <laughs> this that was the kids claim to read. Fame. We had nothing else. <laughs> we had Manute Bowl come to What? This. <laughs> A new bull. That is a very different <laughs> end of that. But in the way we treated him the same way, which was horrible. Yeah, everybody was just like, look how tall this man is. Yeah, you didn't ask. And then two weeks later, he beat his girlfriend. Did you imagine getting beaten by Manute Bull? <laughs> no, he's huge. Trying to get away. <laughs> and he's like the fucking goddamn like carriage driver from Dracula. Just <laughs> reaches all the way over and picks There's you up. no way you're getting away from Manute No, Bull. you don't get away. Could you imagine how terrifying that is? No, that's scary. Just a man He's walking out. towards you. <laughs> like, you don't get away. He's like, um... Come here. Not the, uh, not a Babadook, but s something of that. Well, that sounds like a racist term. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. God Calling Manute Bowl a Babadook is no, pretty I'm, racist. He's definitely something from cryptozoology. If you're, that's no, also him. pretty racist. 
Yeah, you're just like a weird species or something, you Baba Duke. Get out of here, <laughs> you big. It's just because it's hot in here. Yeah, sure. Um... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. No, I'm saying a large, scary, spooky. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's go back. Yeah, to I was gonna phone. say you better watch it. You're digging yourself <laughs> you know a what? deeper hole. <sighs> no amount of minute bowl is gonna get you out of it. You're gonna wish you were as tall as that guy to get out of that goddamn hole you just dug. You know what? It's pretty crazy that you brought up Minute Bowl like that. You brought up Minute Bowl. <laughs> I brought up Wishbone. No, about you wishbone brought up Wishbone, and I fucking and you know what? You were like Minute Bowl was just all a poise to get to Minute. Yeah, it's like I actually I wanted to talk about this fucking Baba Duke. <laughs> First of all, I have a problem with Baba Dukes. <laughs> I live in a neighborhood that was pretty good until all these Bob Dukes started moving in. God, my Italian grandfather had a black cat named Mookie, and that just seemed... Well, Mookie is not... Mookie. It seemed bad. It, Mookie, it, you can say you feel like a mook, but it's not... Mook sounds... Yeah. ...racist. And then I needed to clarify not. that with my dad recently, because yeah. I was like, hey... So, wait, your dad was using Mookie as a racial slur when it wasn't no. a racial slur? <laughs> So my dad was like just locking dumb. the car door. He's like, yeah, we can't go out there. Mookies <laughs> are everywhere. No, I just had to ask my dad because I was like, up. I don't think my Italian grandfather was racist. But you, that no, cat. First off, if you had to say, I don't think my Italian grandfather was racist, I've got bad news for you. <laughs> Your like, Italian grandfather lady. was racist. <laughs> guess what, little lady? <laughs> I've got <laughs> news for you. I don't think anybody's <laughs> Italian grandfather was, you know, not racist. He was just a <laughs> Guy to most people. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. He's like, oh, all lives are worthless. I don't give a fuck. But especially those, uh, those Mookies. But, so I asked my dad, I was like, why did, why was that cat named Mookie? Because I was like, I just need to, like, yeah, I kind of sure, need sure, answers Sure, here. sure, And my dad was like, oh, I used to work on the ambulance and we found the stray cat, but also we worked with a doctor that was from India named Mooka Gennaro, and we thought it was a really funny name, so we just named the cat after right. And I was like, that's bad. Why is that bad? Because it's like, oh, your name is silly to us because we're from Massachusetts. Okay. Look, some <laughs> people got goofy names. <laughs> okay? Names? Real goofy. I'm sorry. Mooka Gennaro? <laughs> that sounds like a fucking term <laughs> someone would use for money. It's like, yo, how Did much come here? Yo, I was throwing a lot of Mooka Gennaro <laughs> at this woman and she still gave me no play. <laughs> so, oh! That you know how much that car <laughs> cost? 10,000 Mooka Gennaro. Come on! <laughs> we drop all this Mooka Gennaro on this Jack Russell Terry. He doesn't even read doesn't to the kids. Doesn't even read any books. You know what my main problem with Biden is? I'll tell you what, he's sending all this fucking Mooka Gennaro to the Ukraine. <laughs> God, God damn it. <laughs> this dog can't even read a fucking color. Problem book. <laughs> is, we've been giving so much fucking Mooka Gennaro to these fucking Baba Dukes out there. They ain't doing nothing for me. Oh my God. Yeah. I ain't even touching that one. Yeah, I've... don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't. <laughs> with your possibly racist grandfather. <laughs> this podcast just ends with me trying to tickle you. <laughs> 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 yeah, what happened to Shannon? It was crazy. So this woman came on, she made a chair come, and then she said borderline racist stuff that I don't really understand, and then she assaulted Shaner in a borderline sexual way, kind of. I don't uh, know exactly. She said it was Texas jiu-jitsu, <laughs> which is basically rape. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you're fucking up, dude. I'm fucking up real bad. I it's was really right. trying to get out from like fucking being affiliated with Compound Media, and here I am. Yeah, here you compounding are. Compounding it up. Yo, how much Mooka Gennaro's <laughs> did they pay you when you were there? God. You just I'm left. Just, Wasn't this enough Mooka Gennaro. The Italian girl just yeah, came up Jesus and started. Jesus Christ. You're like a goddamn. Fucking <laughs> dogs. You're like an flirt. oily sub over there. <laughs> so bad. Jesus. God, I got real mad yesterday because <laughs> this prosciutto, it was the most, I literally was standing in my kitchen doing this and I was like, Fuck, You I'm did so this? To the prosciutto. Not only did I do this in wow. my kitchen alone, I did this to prosciutto. Why, why you like it? <laughs> what? San Daniele. Why aren't you cut up more thin? <laughs> exactly. Oh, it was thick up prosciutto. It's so gross. I guess so. Just yeah, eat it. But no, what? No? <laughs> 
What are y'all see you Just supposed eat to? Eat it. What, no. What the fuck else? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking man. <laughs> Just this fucking Guido <laughs> broad over here. Just eat the food. No, <laughs> I ain't gonna eat it. Jesus Christ. God. You are a living stereotype. Oh, I'm a walking cartoon. It's wild. It's so bad. How I, do you the only thing in even my fridge get by. is mozzarella, prosciutto, <laughs> olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and lettuce. Wow. See, I'm German. The only thing I have in my fridge is Jews. <laughs> Yay, now you're the bad one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's about you. <laughs> yeah, I can't say anything German in my kitchen. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants that. No. If I start getting real angry, I'm like, I'm trying to fucking make food. I'm like, come on, guys, just don't die for nothing. Why am I like this? I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. So I just fucking my heritage. Plenty. Yeah, why, I don't know. I'm it, so look, I'm not gonna sweaty. say it's not hot in her. But you're not sweating like I am. It's because I'm not a. Fucking Sicilian butthole. <laughs> okay. It's because I'm not Italian. I'm not a greasy yeah, sub I'm sorry. of a person. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Damn it. I'm not a water. I'm not a fucking, I'm sorry. I'm not a pizza lady. My bad. God yeah. damn. So, yeah. So, you're, are you like full blooded Italian? Half. Half. Mm -hmm. So what is, I don't know what that means. Half, all my father's side, like my great-grandfather came over, our names on Ellis Island, the whole Oh, the whole wow, you guys thing. got processed. Yeah. Great. And then very Italian. I've been trying to do um, dual citizenship. Very Italian of them. That if your grandparents came over during the war, yeah. they inadvertently gave up their Italian citizenship. Because, <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh, you don't fucking, oh, you're American now? So if your grandparents came over, you can't get dual citizenship ah. through heritage. Gotcha. You gotta now, get naturalized. Wow. What does that mean? Just marrying a man will hit you? <laughs> I mean, I've tried <laughs> so many times. Very funny. I actually just went to Italy this summer, and then of all the people to hang out with that my friends met up with were Albanians in Rome, and I was like, with them. I was like, Great. well, I've been hit by an Italian man yeah, before. Let's see, gonna, let's see what this guy's got. Let's see what this guy's got. He's like, oh, Gina, huh? <laughs> no, he yeah. had an attitude. I realized, yeah, too. Yeah, attitude. I realized, too. I was like sitting with two of my little blonde friends, that I was like, one, put your location services on right now. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> y'all are about to go missing yeah. real quick. I <laughs> worry about that all the time. Anytime. And look, I'm not trying to make it like I'm. I don't think women should travel by themselves. I think women should do whatever the fuck they want. But when my friends are like, oh, I'm going to Greece or I'm going to, like, I'm going by myself on an excursion to like Turkey. I'm like, are you going by yourself? And it's like, Dah. yeah, I went Please to Cambodia by myself. Please, what? I went to Cambodia by myself and I didn't tell anybody but two people. That's the person that was walking, I know it was the dumbest thing. Retarded. Oh, it was so stupid. <laughs> the person that was walking my dog and. The people that I was meeting up with in Hong Kong, and then I went to Cambodia by myself. Um, but I got back. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I made a bag, and I bought my parents' stuff, but I didn't tell them because they get super anxious. Yeah. So then I was like, here's a mug from Cambodia, and they were like, what? And I was like, yeah, I was just in Cambodia for the past two weeks, and they were like, so then, very cute and funny, for my dad loves hiking. Great. I got him a t-shirt from Patagonia, and he went... Oh, where's Patagonia? Because <laughs> he thought I went to Patagonia by oh, myself. Oh, <laughs> I would have thought that. Wait, Patagonia is not a real place. I think it is. Okay, but he didn't realize the store is it a real was place? a place. I don't know. I think it is. I just, you know what? In my head, it's a place, and it has steps like the other place. It has steps. I don't know. I told myself that. I don't know anything about it. It's Patagonia in America, or is it in a different place? We don't know. Rob, we got messages to listen to. You got them lined up. Uh, I do not. Because <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, we've been, we we been talking a while. I was like, I know we have messages at some point in time. If you don't have them. Sorry, that, that was the one thing Danny and I didn't talk about. Damn it! <laughs> well. Have you ever left messages is... for yourself? No. I, you know what? I've honestly, you know, there was this point in time where we weren't getting a lot of phone messages. And I was like, man, maybe I'll just call and leave myself. I was like, what? Don't do that, you Cute. fucking fruitcake. That's so I wanted to call and be like, yo, Shader, you're gay. <laughs> just <laughs> hate it. Just say mean shit to you. Oh, yeah. I was just like, you need to fucking shape up. You know, stop hanging out with all those Babadooks. 
get your fucking shit together. You're spending like, all your Mooka Gennaro. Mooka Gennaro's. You think you're going to be as famous as Manute Bowl? <laughs> you ain't. If you can't find him, it's honestly. You're nothing like Manute Bowl. You're just shouting in the Don't mirror. Don't worry about it. Uh, I, think, I think we're on to something. Yo, man. I love watching this in real time. It's so crazy. He's just figuring stuff out. So let's, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I wasn't driving the bus and I feel kind of responsible. I should have given more direction, but Could I did you drive a bus. Have I driven a bus? Mm -hmm. I'm not the best driver. I'm yeah, not, I can I'm not, imagine what that. What the fuck is that supposed to be? Because I picture that you go all whirly burly. <laughs> you whirly <do>. burly. <laughs> yeah, you're a whirly burly driver. Yeah, I said it. I don't I understand. Said it. What does Piglish? that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calm down, it's Uncle Gina. Funny. We got messages. You're a oh, really burly really driver. Now let's see if they're like ones we've heard before. No, I imagine that you picture yourself as a stuntman. Oh man, definitely. In a I'm very, uh, I'm a very confident driver, which doesn't translate to good. Let's see if you can figure this out. Let's see how I'm long it takes Gina to figure Technology out headphones. Things. This Italian lady don't know a damn thing. Doing these things. You're gonna Look at this. Like Look, she's doing it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't <laughs> slip sorry. on. Wait, what's this now? Bum, bum, bum. I swear to God, I'm... And you know what? No, I got no, nothing okay. to prove. See? I got no, nothing there. to prove. Mm, you got it. And nailed it. Let's see. <laughs> Stuck the landing. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yo, Shader. I uh, just got done listening to your podcast with uh, Ben Stop. Sick. And uh, I was beat by a goddamn pit bull. Uh, it was actually a good friend of mine. And uh, yeah, dude, he shook, but he latched onto my arm, and I picked his ass up with with the arm he's latched on, carried him over to the couch, proceeded to beat the shit out of him. He didn't let go. I put him in a headlock. We wrestled for a good 10 minutes. Uh, he got out of the headlock. He realized what he'd done. He fell bad, put his tail between his legs, sat behind, uh, sat in the corner. Uh, I went outside, smoked a cigarette, then went to the hospital, and then I had to get emergency surgery on my forearm. Uh, yeah, so basically he tore the muscles in my forearm and I couldn't use my middle finger and my ring finger for four months. I had to be out of commission for that. So that fucking sucked. But uh yeah man, I hope you get this fucking message. And uh yeah, have fun. And have fun. Sure. All right. <laughs> right. All right. One how great was the tone of that message? <laughs> that was like a guy explaining how he beat up 50 dudes all at once. Yeah, he he's like, and then like this Uncle guy Rico. came out and I fucking hit him with an elbow, right? He was hurt. And then I fucking took the other one and slammed down. He's like, he was crying. What a pussy. <laughs> I also appreciate that at the end, you said you fucked up your middle and ring finger. You're like, out of commission. <laughs> which means you're just so bummed you can't finger bang chicks. Yeah, when I, you said that, I literally did this. Yeah, I was like, look at <laughs> I was like, middle Oh, you're talking so about it. I yeah. stuck my finger in this pit bull. And now it's it's crazy. Bad. Sorry, babe. Can't make you come this week. Sorry, pit bull injury. No big deal. Smoked sig. <laughs> Sounds like he was trying to finger the pit bull. I mean, got what came to him. I. You know what? He was just putting a little guy in there. <laughs> the like, pit bull was sick. He needed a little guy. So I try to stick my ring finger in the So pit here's bull. the thing about pit bulls. They don't like any fingers in their butthole. <laughs> it's wild. It's an emergency surgery. Emer <laughs> yeah, it was an emergency <laughs> surgery after you smoked a cigarette. It's like, yeah, like, this might be. Side note, my appendix blew up while this was happening. Also, at the same time, <laughs> embolism. Didn't know. <laughs> Emergency surgery. Yo, got in there like you need a tracheotomy. Turns out I was shot at the same time going in, dude. It but I fucked that dog up. It also sounded. Yeah, he said it as but if the dog it. is listening. Yeah, the dog's yeah. like. We get another call. It's from the dog. Yeah, he's like, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and honestly, I you know he's a huge pussy. <laughs> and maybe don't touch my butt. And He's also gay. something like that dude was driving, which is real Yeah, fun. that was the best part. He was, I hope he was driving from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he was coming back like, so, dude, just got checked out. <laughs> Fucking wow. There's a bunch of people being like, this guy said his blinker on for <laughs> three X. <exits."> Actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> actually, I hope the wind that we heard was actually him driving off a cliff, like yeah. in midair. That's like, the last so I gotta though. fucking call you. I'm fucking going in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I fucking Thelma and Louise myself after getting bit by a pit bull. <laughs> All right, have fun. Man. Yeah, have fun, dude. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Last known phone call ever. <laughs> you just hear it trail off. Epa. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah, right? Oh, my God. I don't... Now, I'm actually not going to say what I was about to say. Yeah, but, don't uh, Steve nope. King yourself. No, I, w- no, I was going to... Nope. 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 Do it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We'll retract that thought. Yeah, because take it back. I know Only sometimes poopins. people are wild, and yep. I did not... <laughs> want to put that out in the universe yeah that was a fun little dabble of what your fan base is yeah they're good <laughs> yeah I, they're great no i love my fans they're the best anybody who takes the time to call into the show is amazing i appreciate anybody calling in rob do you have a another message because it might oh you do okay we, we usually listen fine listen i'm gonna to get too. this real fast watch how fast i get this i'm gonna get faster than you <laughs> okay number two shaner Brent, three things I know to always be funny. <laughs> Farts, midgets, monkeys. I want you to please rank them in order of one being the funniest, three being the least funniest. Thank you. Love the show. That. That's a request. That's a very good message. <laughs> that is great. Ranking farts, midgets, monkeys. That also felt like a little Disney ride where we just heard a secret and yeah. took off the headphones. That's pretty that's pretty great. Um, now, I personally... Mm-hmm. now we're, uh, Actually, I'll ask you first. Mm. Where it comes down to farts, midgets, or monkeys... Farts. What, Farts are the funniest. Yeah, for sure. It's not even a contest. Yeah. It's not right even timing on a fart. It's is not the even funniest. a fucking contest. Farts have been around since the beginning of time. Mm-hmm. Every animal, terrestrial either, just farts, man. Yeah. It's just like you you can't I could only imagine that cavemen that's another thing. When people talk about traveling in time. Like going back and seeing like, whoa, what would it like to be see see cavemen? I would love to see the first time <laughs> a caveman was just like sitting around like a fire, watching caveman television, <laughs> just like watching the fire. And then he's just like, and they're like, <laughs> oh, oh, like just hit, getting hit with like, oh. Abraham oh. Lincoln's like giving a speech and he farts in the middle yeah. of it. <laughs> I also wonder if there's every like if you know how like people talk about how sometimes uh, like when they find cave paintings and like they don't talk about it because like oh they they drew aliens we gotta suppress this yeah if there was one cave painting of like a caveman like this <laughs> and there's just like air kind of coming <laughs> out and like all the rest of them like laughing that's in the basement of the it's Vatican like they don't they don't talk about that. <laughs> They don't talk about caveman farts, man. It's a huge conspiracy. <laughs> That's the big secret. Yeah, That's a secret. I mean, I've heard farts that have been funnier than anything I've ever heard come mm-hmm. out of somebody's mouth. For you sure. Know? It's just like, yeah, they're the one. best. They're the number one draft pick, farts. without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. If I'm drafting anything. <laughs> no, my number one. It's like, so we choose farts. <laughs> It's like, and everyone's like, oh! You know this is a baseball draft. And it's like, nah, yeah, dude. we still, we yeah, said we farts. Yeah, we still choose farts. Uh, sorry. I don't know how good farts are with the bat. I don't know if farts can field. But what I do know is farts are always going to be there. Top pick? Top pick. Farts. farts. <laughs> Martin farts. Yeah, farts. anything. Even the word fart is funny. Yeah, it's, it's like, fine. Yeah, it's perfect. It's fart. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Farted. I'm sorry, I'm farted. It's like, it's even funnier. Like, I... I always saw it, <laughs> and again, this is very gender biased, and I don't know why, mm. but like anytime a chick says like, I have to take a shit, yeah. not I have to go to the bathroom, not I have to go poop. Yeah, I like, got it. I got to take a shit. Yeah. I think it's the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. That's pretty great. I don't know why, yeah. but like just seeing a very pretty or feminine chick being like, God, take a shit. <laughs> God, take a big fat shit. <laughs> like, you're just so... <laughs> Or you just don't. coming out of the bag, like, don't go in there. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just took the hugest <laughs> shit. I would crack up. Oh, that is fucking great. Oh, uh, yeah. Or I just farted. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry. I just farted really loud. Really loud fart. I remember I would always have, I used to work in med device, and I would have patients for spinal cord stimulators. Long story short, I'd like scan you. I'd be doing some shit on a Bluetooth that was in your spine. But I would always have really, yeah, no problem. Just a medical good. wizard. Um, but just gloss you, over that. <laughs> yeah, so no just put robot shit in your spine. No big deal. <laughs> but, it's fine. But I would always have older patients and just old ladies just be ripping them because yeah, they're like, they're yeah. like, I'm 80. Yeah, I don't care. I think when you reach a certain age, no one can. But they also old people have those loose farts. Yeah, like well. they go to like <laughs> everything's just. Yeah, they sound insane. like a dying trumpet. They're like. <laughs> Yeah, they last so long. It's that's so funny. Like, they'd just be talking, I'd be like, okay, take a seat here. And as they're sitting down, it's like, I try, yeah, it's because like, they're bending <laughs> their whole body's like a fart accordion. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are we pretending this isn't funny? Yeah, no, <laughs> they're going, like, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I ripped Old one. people farting in yeah. church. Crazy. It's the best. <laughs> Crazy. Old people, old people farting anywhere. <laughs> Crazy. I think the best old person fart has got to be post-mortem. Oh. Like a death rattle, but from your butt. Yeah. Like if you were putting make, makeup, it all like the way placing out. a woman in a casket, <laughs> like finally we cast, like got her in the, <laughs> we're like, damn, dude. I wonder if you get a choice, like you're like on your way out. And Angel's like, okay, you could say one last thing I'd to your like, loved yo, ones. I'd be like, yo, I'm ripping <laughs> farts right now. <laughs> Everyone's in the room. What were your last words? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, the best choice. It's like, choice. sorry. <laughs> oh, Can no, I do that? Oh, my God. Could you imagine, like, you're in a room with your grandpa, and he's like, I just wanted to invite all of you here. I just <laughs> wanted to tell all of you that <sighs> I've been thinking about this <laughs> For a very long time, and I've been holding this back. And I'm glad that you're here, (laughs) and you're here, and you're here, and this is the thing I want to tell you. (laughs) (laughs) That would be... Because you'd have to make that choice every time. Yeah. Every time. I just wanted you to hear the last (laughs) thing I was going to say. What was it? (laughs) Hold on, someone record this. <laughs> Just bring an old man, like, someone get the phones out. Hold on. <laughs> Grandpa. We just have to make something up at the funeral. Yeah, no, I, man, my eulogy would be like, so, Pop Up brought us in. <laughs> he told us. The all, wisest thing we've he actually, ever all, He also didn't say before he died that he loved us. <laughs> he didn't even say that. He just ripped a huge shitter and then fucking died, dude. It would be the top tier way to go out. Damn. Top tier. It would be the best. Yes, farts are number one. Now, for sure. Midgets and monkeys. See, do I think midgets are inherently funny? No. Same. Do I think monkeys can just be funny, just being monkeys? Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm going to go farts, monkeys, midgets. Yeah, I'm saying. Now, then there's the trifecta. Mm. Because this is all, you know what this is? This is like rock, paper, scissors. Because like one can beat the other. It's with a fuck, the Mary, other. kill. It's a very, it's a very Let's weird fuck, thing. fuck, Mary, kill. Fuck, Mary, kill, a fart, monkey, <laughs> or midget? Yeah. Hmm. Man. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, I, it's funny you say fuck, Mary, kill. I remember, you remember when you were a kid. I'm marrying a fart. When, when, first off, I am Mr. Fart. <laughs> My dad is walking me down the aisle. <laughs> Fun wedding, you Oh, guys. my God. Stank. Stank <laughs> wedding. Uh, do you remember Only when, serving beans. Do you remember when you were a kid and, like, cursing was, like, fairly new? Mm-hmm. And kids you would learn just, new words. Yeah, you just learn like, new words and combinations. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this one kid named Tim came, like, we were building a treehouse in the woods. And he came and he's like, yo, what's going on, fart fuckers? <laughs> And it still sticks with me. Because that is funny. He said fart fuckers. And I was like, how do you even fuck a fart? Dude, this man's a wizard. Yo, this guy <laughs> changed everything. Yeah. God fart box, hilarious. It. It's so good. It's so good. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Fuck, Mary, kill, fart, midget, monkeys. I think I'm, well, I'm definitely fucking a midget. Okay. <laughs> 
I, I Look, going, bet I'm no going, one is surprised I'm by going, that. I'm going pure logic here. <laughs> Fucking midgets. Uh-huh. I'm killing a monkey and I'm marrying farts. Man, you gotta kill a monkey if you marry the farts, because you gotta fuck the midget. You can't. Yeah, you can't not fuck you a can't, midget. Well, the, also, I went. You can't fuck a monkey. Yeah, I mean, you I could. <laughs> well, technically, we, you know, <laughs> technically, if you're doing a little bit of that the Texas jujitsu, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I saw you straddling a monkey, tickling it, I'm like, oh, she's gonna fuck that monkey, dude. Yeah, the last time I was roughhousing, I was tickling real good. I was and- tickling real good, and then he farted, and then I, then I, <laughs> but. Cause I'm a I'm a pretty tough roughhouser. Yeah, sure. Cause we were on the couch, and then I was like, "Oh, he doesn't think that I'll push him off the couch." Like he thought this was like. So wait, you were roughhouse now? Now who? I'd be tickling on the couch. You be tick now? Do you start? This was a kid I met on the street. (laughs) So I was babysitting. Great. (laughs) Excuse me. Let me watch your kid. I'm tickling him real good. (laughs) What? Now then, (laughs) sorry. I'm marrying farts I'm today. <laughs> Sorry, I just got back from my honeymoon. I went to Cambodia. I married a fart. <laughs> I went to Cambodia after I married a big fart. Killed Let a bunch of monkeys. I on killed my a bunch of monkeys. I may have fucked a midget. I'm going to tickle your children. <laughs> Let me tickle your children. <laughs> went to Cambodia, married a fart. Fuck your children in the heart. It's a John Mellencamp song. Mm, we're going to tickle children, <laughs> baby. Tickle them good. Marrying a fart in a temple in Cambodia. Beautiful. That would be wild. <laughs> that would be- you know what? We're real close to marrying farts. Oh, so. There are so many things going on in we're the world. We're so close to phrenology coming back. I'm so excited about it. Because every bitch is super into tarot and they want to get injections to be, have like the golden ratio. And I'm like, it's so close to plastic surgeon because they bring out things to measure your face to get injections in the right place. So I'm what? like, what? We're, yeah, they I have like, that. yeah, to get like certain angles lining up with like their eyebrows okay, and so, shit. Y- okay. So close to phrenology. We're so close to phrenology. You know, coming you back. know what's crazy about the whole golden ratio thing, or at least with plastic surgery? Mm. I've seen. You know, a fair amount, and like, I can't say men, I haven't seen men who've gotten plastic surgery. I can't say that I haven't, but I see more women getting it than men. Mm. And what I will say is, I've seen more women that I know personally mm. who've gotten uh, work done and they've tried to get like, you know, symmetrical features on their face. Mm-hmm. However, symmetrical features don't work for everybody. No. Which is wild because you'd think they're symmetrical. It's supposed to, it like, yeah. it doesn't. It's always bizarre. make you look great. No, it doesn't. It's like you were fine, but then you're like, no, my face is like one side's like this, and then the other side's like that. It's like you know, I don't know. Uh, no, it looks pretty you, fucking bizarre. Yeah, too. It is and then weird. people go cheap, which is not good. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want that. Mm-mm. You're about the guy who is injecting sand into people's butts. <laughs> That should be a Stephen King movie because what a Faustian bargain to make. So yeah. you're like, I want a bigger butt. Instead of thinner, it's bigger. Bigger ass. <laughs> bigger. bigger. Just a guy with a big injection needle. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All the cement. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, they put cement. Oh, yeah. man. Imagine that being the mafia way. Yeah. Instead of cement shoes, they just inject your ass with cement and kick you over a bridge. And they just find so you years later with your legs. There's some construction worker finding you in the river being like, Wood. Oh, man. W- what do you do? <laughs> you probably deserve that. That's snitch right there. It's just some construction worker Yo, look fucking at that. your dead body. Look at that tank. <laughs> Got a CDO That's for a, that. You know what? That's <laughs> funny. It's like when you think about it now, there are going to be, in the future, mm. there are going to be corpses that may be exhumed because archaeology is just grave robbing. Oh, for if, sure. You know, so like say something happens where people are doing an excavation, they find like a grave site and like, oh my God, this could be a message from the past or a window to what people lived like or did. And they find a dead... People are going to find dead bodies with fake tits. There are going to yeah. be implants resting on top of a corpse. Yeah. Which is wild. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> which is fucking sick. Dude, if I <laughs> dug up a body and you just see huge, like, what is that? <laughs> God, I remember one of the, well, I'm not saying any HIPAA violations, but I remember I was working in the OR. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not mentioning any names. But we had a girl who was paralyzed, but her parents got her fake tits. That's awesome. <laughs> 
That rules. That's what is. Why is that not good? I didn't think it's not good. I was just like wild to me because I'm like, I know your parents. Take not care like they can of get you. her fake legs. They're <laughs> not like they can give her robot shit. You can get robot shit now. Look, you can now. When was this? Like two years ago. Okay, people are poor. <laughs> okay, said, they're getting what they can afford. I said, fuck it. So they're like, yo, girl, maybe down there don't work so well. But yeah. we're going to have you rocking some serious. How big were they? Were they proportionate? Or were they they're just... proportionate, okay, but they cool, weren't cool, like, cool. they weren't too crazy. But I was like, that was just, did a double take. I was like, that's. I mean, if I saw a super stacked chick in a wheelchair, I'd do a double take too. I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I, a while ago, I, I guess it's not catcalling. Then again, I guess it is. I <laughs> like, I don't like. I would never be like, "Yo, baby girl." Like, I would never be like, "Yo, girl, you fucking fine." But I, if I was like, "Ha ha," like, I don't know why that. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> like, if I, that's fun. Just is that is that wrong? I don't think that's cartoon that. Cartoon Johnny Bravo noises. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think I'd be more in trouble if I was just like, oh. <laughs> you just sound like Al Pacino. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ah. Just like fucking losing it while chicks walk by. I don't know what I would do if I saw. You know, I would be intrigued. Looking back, I guess I did do a fair amount. Of, like I will <laughs> say, I never went out of my way to like cat call anybody. Mm. However, when I did work at this one bar, me and this guy named uh, Jay Z, we we call him Jay Z. His name's John Zimblicky. He's the best. He's the best. Me and this guy um, called him Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> we just called him different rap names. <laughs> I was like, what's up, Changi? <laughs> You're Changi tonight. I'm sorry. But uh, we were working the door, and, like, it was a college, like, party. Like, they were bussing in all these college students. <clears throat> and any time, like, a chick walked by, we'd be like... <clears throat> we would just make a fart sound. Just a negger? <clears throat> oh, no, like, no, that's, no, that's positive. That's positive? Yeah, because squirt alert... <clears throat> I would think you'd be like, oh, you think I'm poop. No, that's my dick making the noise. (laughs) No, my dick is making the poop. My dick is farting, girl. (laughs) Girl, No, it's not. Yo, baby, girl. (laughs) Yo, you make my dick fart. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Is that a good cat call? (laughs) Yeah. I don't know if that's pretty good. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Could you imagine just walking down the street? Girl, help my dick out. Now, how would you react if if you were just... (laughs) Mm, walking and someone's like, yo, girl! <laughs> yo, you make my dick have diarrhea, girl! <laughs> oh. Honestly, I would be intrigued because I'd be like, what is... Diarrhea what, of the penis. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'd be like, that's a new Excuse one. Excuse me, I used to work <laughs> in <Yeah>. an OR. <laughs> I, think. I need to see your diarrhea <laughs> penis now. Excuse me. I'm that actually intrigued. sounds a lot like the poop pen. Oh, I know. Oh yeah. man, if you can man, hook you just a, got inky. If you could, yeah, dude, on the I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, Miss. I got a very inky dick. <laughs> Your whole podcast. I've never heard this podcast before. It only leads. Yeah, it's just <laughs> all it is. It's just only me becoming a billionaire with an inky dick. <laughs> it's just you, low key, looking for investors. You bring it up on every podcast. You're like, It'd so what crazy. do you think? Wouldn't it be great if I just had money? What do you think about like putting a thing in your butt and using it for pen ink? Wouldn't that God. be nuts? God. Yeah. So you, if you got cat called by a, a guy, dude saying, mm, my penis just or farted. or just was just like, or say you're walking down the street and you just instead of a guy saying like, yo, girl, but he was just like, oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, like Honestly, in a way that it's almost like he's having a heart attack from coming. Yeah, low key. That's like, I mean, it's complimentary, depending uh, on what he looks like. See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> classic. Just honest. Classic. I'm just being. Because if I did it, they'd be like, "Get this guy the fuck out of here." <laughs> you know, we're talking like a burn victim like, here. What are yeah. we talking? Girl, oh, I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> I'm gonna tickle you. This I'm has been the I'm end podcast. <laughs> Gina Hyena, thank you so much for being on the show. Please call the hotline, 833-443-5300. We will address any comment, question, concern, or dog bite story you got. We're going to switch it over to the Patreon. Thank you so much. Later. 